Hello and welcome to a video on myelination of neurons and solitary conduction. Um, so the this is a myelinated neuron and we can see the axon here and this is a non-myelinated neuron with the axons um, in separate parts um, throughout the Schwann cell. Um, if we're looking at the main differences in structure between these two then, for a myelinated neuron we've got the myelin sheath wrapped tightly um, around the neuron, specifically the axon. Um, so it prevents the movement of ions across the neuron membrane. So because this myelin sheath is um, insoluble, so it um, insoluble to ions, particularly sodium, uh, they cannot um, diffuse across it. Um, so that's sodium and potassium, sorry. So what this means then, if ions cannot diffuse across our myelinated sheath, which is like a fatty um, insulating layer, I'll just write that here. So it's fatty insulating layer. Um, so because these cannot diffuse through, it's going to have to jump through the nodes of Ranvier, which are these small gaps in between the Schwann cells. So these are the nodes of Ranvier. So in our myelinated neuron, we're going to have the impulse jumping from the nodes of Ranvier because that's the only place where the movement can occur. So the action potential is going to jump um, from one node, one node to the next. So this is going to be um, more rapid um, conduction. Um, our non-myelinated neurons here, um, we can actually have several neurons that are enshrouded um, in a loosely wrapped Schwann cell, which we can see there. Um, so these are all individual neurons. So an action potential can move across um, the neuron in a wave. Um, so it's more of a wave-like conduction, which, um, as you can imagine, is much slower. So if we're then looking at the advantages of myelination, I'll write these here. Uh, we're going to have, of course, that it'll um, be quicker. Remember, if you're going to write this in the exam, you must say that it's quicker than... Um, if you just say it's quick, that you're not really comparing it to anything else. Um, it can carry them across across longer distances than if you were having a non-myelinated neuron. Um, and yet they're the main two ones, really. And the main point about myelinated neurons is that they allow saltatory conduction um, to occur. So because our sodium and potassium ions cannot diffuse through this fatty layer here, um, they're going to have to be jumping, like you can see them coming here, in, through the nodes of Ranvier. Um, so 
in myelinated neurons, the local currents, which is another video on specifically local currents, local currents are elongated. Um, and sodium ions diffuse along the neuron from one node of rendezvous to the other. And that is all that saltatory conduction is. Um, and basically that's that's about it. So we're seeing that we've got tightly wrapped um, myelinating fatty insulating layer wrapped tightly around our neuron. Um, it's insoluble to sodium potassium ions, so they can't diffuse through. It's going to have to occur at the nodes of Ranvier. So we're going to have a rapid conduction of our action potential through the saltatory conduction. If that's happening, then we're going to have a local currents that are elongated, um, which they can produce quicker and longer distances of um, conducting the action potential, whereas the non myelinated neurons have several axons enthralled in a swan cell um, and the the conduction um, moves in a wave-like motion so it's much slower and that's everything thank you for watching